Award-winning artist George Emile Wilson focuses much of his work on early black cowboys in the American Southwest. This oil painting, titled Bill Pickett, depicts the rodeo event that Pickett invented and made famous, bulldogging. His unusual technique made him a true star in the Wild West shows. He would bite the steer on the upper lip and then release his hands into the air as shown on the scenes adjacent to Pickett's image. George Emile Wilson uses a lot of color to bring joy and excitement to his paintings. He also concentrates on how he uses light to infuse his images together. Moreover, his faces and figures truly seem to come to life. Susan Labuda, painter, adventurer, and former art teacher. This stunning oil creation is titled Greek Poppies and showcases the brightness of the flowers as well as the breathtaking view. Susan uses bold, beautiful colors. She loves to paint the incredible scenes she encounters on her travels around the world. It's a true talent to match her choice of intense colors, yet somehow communicate a softness in her work. She's recently been focused on small pieces with single flowers or birds that can be presented separately or in a group. This piece, titled Car Show Smile, is a colored pencil work based on a photo award-winning artist Carolyn Stilwell took while at one of the many car shows she's attended in Flint, Michigan. This Buick caught her eye, but it was years before she translated it to colored pencil. It remains one of her favorites today. In addition to her fascination with classic cars, Carolyn creates pictures of anything Nothing is mundane. From fruit to faces or table knives to tulips, she's always working on something. Her watercolors, oils, colored pencil, pen and ink, and of course pencil, are now joined by wall quilts and jewelry. The Ward charcoal kilns were built in the 1870s and used for mining silver ore. This watercolor by artist, architect, and world traveler Caesar Sabalos, titled Hidden Lanterns of Ward Charcoal Kilns, depicts the stone ovens in eastern Nevada. They remind him of his travels in southern Italy where similar conical shaped roof stone huts can be found. Caesar wants his artwork to spark the viewer's senses and recognize something in a painting that relives the feeling of connection to the place or subject, a reunion of a relationship. He likes to use colors to express the geometry of nature and light to enhance the volume and drama in a painting. Artist Carol Austin is an extraordinary painter of realistic still lifes. This piece, titled Nancy's Oranges, is an ode to her good friend Nancy, whose tree provided the very oranges you see here. Nancy was an avid and creative gardener. The wide-brimmed gardening hat and copper watering can speak to that passion. The blue ribbon was the color she always wore. The painting began as a simple still life of oranges and ended up being an homage as she quietly passed away days before its completion. A recent transplant from Southern California, Carol completed a life career in law to take up drawing and painting about 10 years ago. After studying for several years with a renowned art school, she attended the workshops of many accomplished artists in the Laguna Beach area, developing a style all her own. A relative newcomer to sharing his photography with the public, Philip Penrod has a unique ability to capture the viewer's imagination 
with his choice of subject and composition. Milky Way Truck, shown here, is a print on metal. This particular photo was taken in the local area of Rhyolite Ghost Town, with one of the fascinating abandoned vehicles found there. Rhyolite is one of the jewels of the Southern Nevada mining history. Philip's passion for photography is evident. He's been experimenting with various subjects, but is most fascinated by night photography. Ashraf El Sharif is from Sudan, where the Great Nile is formed by the confluence of the White and Blue Nile. His first artwork was exhibited at the Sudan College of Fine Arts when he was just 10 years old. This acrylic and oil piece, titled Sahara Nomads, is a representation of a daily scene for the nomads who travel the desert with tents made of palm tree leaves and acacia sticks carrying their entire household on the back of a camel. They travel the Sahara seasonally in the quest for food and water, toughing the torrid dry summers, the shivery winter nights, and sandstorms, relying on their indigenous knowledge to meet their needs. This unique artist works with a variety of media, acrylics and oil on canvas, watercolor and pencil on paper, and also digital photography. His subjects include landscapes, portraits, and historical scenes. Ashraf gets much of his inspiration from the great ancient Nubian civilization, which once dominated the Nile Valley and the surrounding African Sahara, with its fascinating legends of queens, kings, and architectural buildings and motifs. Titled Heaven to Earth 2020, this acrylic on canvas piece is by inspirational artist Gina Hahn. The upper portion of the painting may be interpreted as the heaven or constitution. The funnel downloads information onto the earth at the bottom. Positive energy flows are reflected in white and gold on both sides. Gina's desire is for each piece she creates to speak or sing or teach inspire and heal others. Her paintings involve elements, natural forms, systematically and numerically related in vibrant compositions. Gina's other passions include yoga, healing, and photography. Retired and rediscovering a passion for art, Pat Gambarczyk uses whatever medium she believes will best portray the subject the way she envisions it. This work, titled Coyote in Red, is an expression of realism in oils that captures those haunting coyote eyes that see into your soul. This is one of a series showcasing wildlife in the local desert. Wildlife has always been a preferred subject but Pat thinks there will be more landscapes and southwestern scenes in her new work. She likes to experiment and has painted many birds and animals on an abstract-like acrylic pour background. Photographer Gina Gelbach Hall's goal is to inspire viewers to see the world through a different lens. This award-winning creation, The Show Must Go On, is a tribute to her hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. Taking a stroll down Fremont Street with its ode to neon and lights, what could be more appropriate than a tribute to the famous showgirls of the Strip, her shoe? This iconic image helped Las Vegas earn its unofficial title as Sin City, to the delight of all who visit and are entertained all night long. It's a fitting portrait of our history and the future. The show must go on. Gina is an avid traveler. She loves to take photographs that capture the spirit of the surrounding she's in. Using her passion for photography and graphic design talents, each click of the shutter 
has the potential to empower and ignite one's imagination. Blue Earth is a mixed media creation by award-winning artist Chris Masglad. This abstract has strong geologic hints with unusual color combinations reminiscent of those that you would find at Death Valley National Park's Artist Palette Loop. With hints of iridescence, slight textural surprises, and subtle shifts of color, this piece draws more than a few second looks. Chris's work is predominantly abstract, but she also enjoys faces, animals, or other subjects that can be presented in a fun, colorful way. Similarly, she enjoys working with many materials in order to surprise the viewer. Dottie Fenner's acrylic painting, titled Ollie, is a life-sized painted image of Dottie Fenner's beloved companion, her own dog, Ollie. She says he's a world champion comedian. Dottie captures his vibrant personality by tilting his head back slightly and putting a sparkle in his eye. His habit of sitting straight up with his head back is his way of negotiating what he wants. Dottie's also renowned for her paintings of other animals, including horses and dogs, in addition to shaping and firing wonderful ceramic pieces. Recently, she's produced some gorgeous landscapes that showcase the incredible natural surroundings we enjoy in southern Nevada.